Hi everyone, it's Dave from Colossal Fossils in Wausau, Wisconsin. And instead of doing a fossil related talk today, um, I wanted to show off our personal at home basement aquaponic system because uh, with the COVID-19 pandemic and everyone sitting at home looking for things to do, I thought this might be of interest to you. Um, this has been uh, one year in the making. It has been a gigantic experiment. I'm trying to figure out what works, what doesn't work, you know, the plants, the fish, uh, things like that um, to be you know, a little more self-sufficient, but also as low maintenance as possible. So first of all, what is aquaponics? You have your regular gardening where you put the seed in the ground, the plant grows, and then you harvest it, okay? Um, but in Wisconsin, where I'm from, our growing season is relatively short. You know, we have about three months of good warm weather, and then we have winter the other nine months, right? Um, with hydroponics and aquaponics, these are newer forms of gardening. Uh, hydroponics, you're growing plants in water that you're adding fertilizers to. And aquaponics takes it one more step. And instead of adding fertilizers, what you have is a fish tank and fish poop in the water, right? So there's a pump that takes all that fish water and puts it into the garden here. The plants use that water as fertilizer. They clean the water and it dumps back into the fish tank. So I'm gonna go through everything here. We'll do some close-ups later on so you can kind of see what I've got uh, happening here. But I'm gonna give you like budget numbers. How much is this going to cost? Like I said, I wanted this to be as low cost as possible and as um, easy to maintain as possible too. So for the fish tank, you can use a 50 gallon water barrel if you want. Go on Craigslist or some other website, pick one of those up. Most people can find them for free, okay? I just happen to have this 50 gallon fish tank lying around. Uh, what I have in here are about 50 rainbow trout. I had them uh, overnighted to our house last winter in January. So it's been about uh, 15, uh, 14 or 15 months that we've had this. Um, they started out as little one inch fingerlings and we've been harvesting trout now that are almost 12 inches long, about a pound. Um, the ones that are still in here are a little bit smaller than that. We've kind of eaten the other trout. Um, the giant Tupperware container that I have here, just pick that up, you know, it was 10, 10 bucks maybe at a big box store. The grow lights. This is one thing that I went super cheap on and I wish I hadn't. Uh, I got these online. They were about $25 a piece. And after a year, I realized, you know, I don't think these plants are doing as well as they could. So I did some research and the light output from these lights is equivalent to a cloudy day. So the plants are getting some sunlight, just not enough. Um, if you want a good one, I've seen them anywhere from two to $300. And that's where I'm like, eh, low budget. I don't know if that's really my thing. Um, what I'm gonna be doing now, I've got some uh, cold hardy plants because it's in our basement. At minimum, it's about 58 degrees down here in the winter. We don't heat the basement as much. Um, in the summer, it gets to a max of 68 degrees. So we've got a 10 degree swing, which is nice. The trout, love it. Um, the plants, don't. Um, so instead of, you know, trying potatoes and tomatoes and celery, uh, you know, things like that, that just aren't growing, aren't producing what we want, I'm going to be doing some uh, lettuce, kale, spinach, Swiss chard, things like that. And I think that would get us a couple salads every week once everything is up and running. So anyways, um, the fish, they cost me $100. If you want to uh, save money in that realm, get your fishing pole, pick up a bunch of little pan fish, like bluegills or perch, okay, things like that. Before you know it, I'm talking the little ones that you can pick up right off the dock, right? As long as it's legal to do that in your state, um, I think it would be a much more cost efficient method of fish, uh, getting fish. The trout cost me $100. If you go out and catch your own, it's gonna cost you a fishing license that you can use all year long. So I've got the trout here, $100. You can save money there, again, by catching your own fish. Get a rain barrel for free or a couple bucks. Um, there was a pump. Uh, I think the pump was $20. So I got that from our uh, local hardware store. Uh, the tube that runs in here, again, a couple dollars. We've got our you know, $10, $15 Tupperware tank here. These lights, which I picked up for $25, I eh, should have gone with the $200 version. Um, I did not know that 
a year ago. I wish I had. Um, then we have what are expanded clay pellets. You know, people can use gravel if they want. Um, these are nice. Um, I picked up two, I think they were 40 pound bags. I think it cost me a total of $80. Again, I think I got those from Home Depot. They ship directly to my house. These are expanded clay pellets. They're made from clay. If you crack one open, it's full of bubbles. It looks like lava rock or pumice, okay? Um, and the bubbles, the little air pockets, provide places for the good bacteria that take the poopy fish water and turn it into fertilizer that plants can utilize. So these, again, about $80 for two bags. And I filled this Tupperware container with them. So let's do some close-ups. You ready? Let's do our plants first. So things that do really, really well in a basement that gets to about, you know, 58 to 68 degrees. Green onion. I have a lifetime supply of green onion. My wife and I cook a lot of our own food. I started some chives here. And at first they weren't doing so hot, but suddenly... They started doing very, very well. So I think we're going to do just fine in the world of chives. Um, this is celery here and there. Uh, they're not doing too hot. I just took the um, bottom portions of the celery that we got at the store, stuck them in there just to see what would happen, and nothing has happened. Um, we're getting, should probably pull them because they've been sitting there for almost six months now. Um, there's our hose. That's poopy fish water going right in there. It goes all the way through this medium here and drains into that. Make sure you put a screen of some kind, otherwise the expanded clay pellets will fall right down that hole into your fish tank and you're gonna be picking up a lot of stuff, okay? And the trout being very aggressive, think it's food, and uh, I don't want them eating it. Um, these, honestly, I forget what they are. Um, might be broccoli or cauliflower that I did as an experiment. Um, they sat there doing nothing for a couple months and then suddenly they started sprouting more leaves. So I'll leave them in there and see what happens. Um, this monstrosity was the bottom stem of a iceberg lettuce that we got at the grocery store. I stuck it in there and it's flowering already. So it's doing well. Um, we've eaten, you know, we've pulled lettuce off of this a couple times. Um, I have herbs in here too. We've got some thyme, although they're really light green. Uh, they're not doing so hot, but they are growing. Um, they're, they're getting bigger. And then this is oregano. Uh, the oregano suddenly is doing very, very well. Um, so like I said, we've got uh, some lettuce, kale, spinach, and Swiss chard started in the other room. Uh, in the window. Once those get a little bit bigger, we're going to transplant them in here and hopefully we'll be able to eat a bit more. This whole setup cost me about $300. Again, if you go out and catch your own fish there, you'll save a ton of money, but then use that money to buy better lights. Again, two to $300 for something of this size. You know, this is about two by three and a half feet, two by four feet, something like that. Um, from what I read online, if you want to feed a family of four all year long, you're going to need a garden that's about 10 by 10 feet or 10 by 20 feet. Uh, it's totally manageable if you have the space. Um, we don't because I've got too many of these telescopes in our house that are filling up the space. So let's take a closer look at our rainbow trout. These things are beauties. And then, like I said, there's about 30 or 40 hiding. They're all in the back corner there. Uh, but they're doing very, very well. Um, I had a started with 100. We've eaten maybe 20 of them. And uh, there's one. The rest, the other 30, have, you know, I'll get one, you know, one or two die here and there. Um, none have died in a very long time, though, so they're they're doing just awesome. Uh, much higher, hardier than everyone said they would be. Um, a lot of people said that rainbow trout would never survive in a setup like this, but they're doing great. Again, come on, there they are. They're freaking out a little bit. But again, 
that is our aquaponics setup. And again, uh, about $300. Uh, start to finish and it's been a fun experiment and hopefully you can pick up a few tips for your cold cold basement aquaponic systems if you are uh, ever interested in trying it out all right this is dave from colossal fossils in wausau wisconsin adios